What is up guys, this is PNT Gaming and as you may see from the title, from the thumbnail, this is something new and I hope I can help my fellow YouTube Cl Clash Royale YouTubers um, that, you know, may be struggling with their thumbnails and uh, I hope I can help you. Um, sorry there's no face cam in this one, uh, just because it's easier to sort of do a tutorial without a face cam because I don't, I won't cover any, any of the things up. And um, just a quick shout out to Chan Chandler Jones. Um, his Twitter page will be on the screen right now somewhere. Um, yeah, he he's the one that did my intro. And if you like 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 the intro, please leave a like. And if you want any of the intros done for you for like for your channel, then uh, go and check out his Twitter. Uh, DM him, uh, message him, and he'll, he'll probably help you out. He's a good lad, and uh, he helped me out. So yeah. This is his Twitter. Anyway, so let's get on uh, get on with this video. And this is something new for myself, and it's going to be sort of different the way I do it. Um, I'm, I'm I'm doing a screen recording and sort of uh, try and do a tutorial for you. So first of all, obviously this is going to be a Photoshop tutorial. So if you don't have Photoshop, um, I, I can't help you in this video. But if you if you got any questions of sort of um if like if you're using a different program you can you can always ask me down in the comments section below so first of all um also leave a comment down below to say whether you like my, my new intro if you like my new intro leave a comment down below if you don't also leave a comment down below you know i want to talk to you guys so first of all we got this uh this is the setup of the actual thumbnail size and um this is what I use every single time I make my thumbnails and as you can see um, yeah I'm just gonna put my I'll put this name uh, thumbnail tutorial um, so today we're gonna make sort of a sparky lightning deck um, thumbnail and you can sort of learn from this and make a different sort of uh, thumbnail in the future to yourself so as you can see okay custom, custom mode width is 1366 uh, pixels height is 768 pixels as well resolution 72 pixels an inch uh, RGB RGB color uh, transparent background color pro uh, so just copy this and you will be just fine so press ok so now to start things off we need a background and uh, so sometimes I get a screenshot Sometimes I get sort of different sort of um, Clash Royale wall wallpaper. So this time let's just Clash Royale wall wallpaper, and we're gonna sort of find a sort of different different Clash Royale uh, pictures that we can use. Um, that's something to do with Sparky, um, or maybe just just a random, literally a random Clash Royale. So let's for for, for, for instance, in this for this video uh, purposes. Let's just uh, pick what like something like that. This looks pretty cool, and so we're gonna save this image to. Uh, though just 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 ignore these uh, thumbnail tutorial. Save it in there, and uh, yeah, we got the we got the background. We need to put it on there. So all we need to do is just open up your folder where it where you put where you save the picture. And just drag it across into and then usually I stretch it out, but you can you can obviously mess about and you can sort of zoom in by stretching it.
shadow uh, blend mode normal and then we need to choose a color and then I usually just use a little this color thing to sort of uh, make the color the same look well make it look the same and um, yeah so as you can see we can sort of play around here we can change the opacity to make it sort of less w w visible and um, make it more you know change the distance and stuff but leaving it as that I'm gonna spread it a bit more to sort of make it similar to the other card and then I'm just a bit worried I can't there we go now, now, now it's all the way around the whole card so it looks pretty cool and uh, yeah you, all you need to do, to do is just play around with these settings and just have a look which way looks best uh, I'm, I'm gonna put, put it a hundred percent uh, opacity and just leave it as it is for now right this looks pretty good I guess but then again we need to sort of put some effects in it right we need to have some sort of I don't know some sort of catch to it so let's let's put some smoke in it uh, we need some smoke so let's I don't know let's put smoke transparent I don't know transparent background smoke all these things you can find on YouTube which is really really cool guys and it helps out a, a lot like all these transparent backgrounds it saves it saves me so much time to actually just go on YouTube and take a transparent back, uh, transparent background picture rather than make one myself so let's just I just need quite a bit of smoke so let's just uh, take this one for example so we're gonna save the image again same place just to make things uh, nice and neat for us and smoke drag it into the our file on Photoshop and then stretch it out again depending on your own sort of uh, satisfaction where do you want to be you can you can twist it round to, to make it sort of uh, different if you want um, make it smaller and we're gonna leave it there but we're not gonna leave it as it as, as like that because the smoke is too sort of bright and too easy to see so all we need to do is just change the opacity to a little bit less sort of have that sort of mystery behind it and then we're gonna put some uh, blending options I think and uh, put the color, color overlay let's let's see what sort of um, colors we can get out of, out of this uh, okay so we can get like this red sort of smoky but but we, we want the electric electric type of smoke so we need the blue sort of dark blue type of smoke and type of color so um, we're gonna change the color to blue and this looks pretty pretty nice I like it I like it it's not too bad so we're getting there now we need the title um, all we need to do is just put lightning it's up to you like the title is gonna be they have to be catchy they have to be um, they don't don't make it misleading because there's a lot of clickbait going on around on YouTube people just making stupid thumbnails that just lead you to the wrong stuff so we're gonna put the lightning lightning I can't spell lightning lightning sparky lightning sparky we I like that I like that. it's, it's kind of catchy to be honest so Sort of making it bigger we could change change the font if you want uh, but I'm gonna keep it as it is but it looks pretty cool it is starting to it, st it starts to look a little bit more catchy uh, but I don't like the way it's just white the white sort of we need some sort of shadow around it right so again go right click on on the letter or, or on the writing on the right hand side and then go drop shadow this time we don't want the pur purple we, we want the sort of black uh, because it just makes it stand out a lot better so leave the settings, settings as, as it is I think for this for this one and it looks pretty nice um, sorry if this tutorial is a bit sort of terrible but I just want to show you how I make my thumbnails because I had quite a few people asking it and um, right last bit that we're gonna do is put Elect electric electricity maybe because lightning sparky they both sort of electric thing and we need some sort of something like that some sort of power in on in the, into this picture 
into the thumbnail just to make things more exciting to, to for people to click on uh, just because you know the more effort we put in the people the more people will like it so I'm gonna make this bigger and put it in the corner right there just to make it look pretty nice and look at this sort of this looks pretty insane and I like it myself uh, I might even use it for one 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 of my um, videos uh, so I'm gonna change the opacity to 88% I think and um, should we put one more of these might as well so all you have to do is put press on the actual picture that you, that you want to duplicate uh, like copy and just press control J and that's gonna copy it for you then you need to put press control and move it around to wherever place whichever way place you like so this we're gonna move it in, in the other corner right like that and looks this looks like a bit pretty nice but we're gonna move it like to that to the very start so that's actually behind the sparky card and behind the lightning card and that's sort of you know make it look like fireworks are around it and there's lightning spells the sparkies and there's things just sort of blown it up and really electric atmosphere so yeah this is gonna be it this is the video and uh, to finish things off all you have to do is press file press save as uh, thumbnail tutorial um, that sparky sparky lightning deck and then save it as J, J, jpg jpeg or jpe uh, file and save it and then uh, just leave it as it is quality at um, 12 maximum and press ok and then all you will have is a nice thumbnail somewhere I think where is it sparky lightning deck just there save it which, where, wherever you want and this is the nice little thumbnail that we created guys I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, I've tried to sort of I tried to show you guys how how it looks like what what sort of thumbnails and how I make them and I hope I kind of explained it correctly if I didn't if you got any questions please leave a comment down below and I'll try and help it help you out all the time and as always guys been your boy PNC gaming sorry there's no clash Royale video today but there will be one tomorrow and uh, yeah stay tuned and as always guys it's been your boy pnt gaming and i'll see you tomorrow <laughs>